This morning we are talking about Project Hope, and with me is Mwale Henry, and I have a young um, representative here from the school. You'll, you'll remind me of the yes. school name, the Youth Academy, and his name is Nathan Brathwit. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Kari. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Yes. You know, really excited to learn about what um, this project that you're doing is, is based on. So okay. tell me a little bit about Project Hope. Well, you know, when, when I think about Project Hope, Hope stands for helping other people excel. I like that. Yes. Helping and other people excel. Definitely. <laughs> you know, even though, you know, some of you may know me as an international best-selling author, uh, you know, a husband, um, you know, a pastor, but many people don't know that, you know, my journey in school has been a very difficult one. What made it difficult? Well, you know, when you have teachers who, went, well, first of all, you know, I went to three primary schools, three secondary schools. Really? And it was just an effort of me trying to find my voice as okay. a young man. And I, I remember distinctly being at a school where I was the poorest person at that school. Right. And, you know, the teacher would stand there and when children have to give donations, I only had a dollar. And she would walk up to me and take a finger and just trace the, the hair, my hair growth and said, you know, look at how your hair is growing, you know, you're the child of a devil. And these kind of things impacted on me. But because of having the type of family, parents, community that continuously supported me, allowed me to, you know, to have a sense of clarity of who I am as a young man and that it's very possible I should not be defined by my economic status. Yes, and, that's right. And because of that, it has allowed me to be on a journey to um, help other young people who may not have that type of support. You know, it's, it takes a, a, a village to raise a family, to raise a community. So for us as a ministry, as a church, and as a nonprofit, our commitment is to ensure every young people have that type of opportunity to grow and to excel. Tell me about the experience you've had with some of the at-risk youth that you would, would meet in your, in your work and in your ministry. Okay, so the KF David International, we function mainly you know, in Pleasant Spa Point of Care. And as you would know, that community has been impacted by the job lay of, of Asimotal and then Petrotrain with the restructuring. And many of the young persons come from the train line, the abandoned train line, all the way from Marbella, making your way up to St. Margaret's. And these young persons, you know, they are victims to either human trafficking, drug trafficking, and gun violence. But our ministry believes that, you know, what, what we have to offer is a sense of hope, a sense of commitment, because scripture gives us that motivation to continuously engage those dark places. And right. we have seen young people, you know, excelling because all they need is opportunity and direction. And there have been so many success stories uh, from that journey we've been able to have. So is Nathan one of the success stories in question? Yes, Nathan, he is a part of our um, youth academy, Cody Youth Academy. Um, you know, it's not what we call traditional Sunday school because right. we do math, science, we know we go on hikes, we do different things. And um, Nathan is one of our staff students. He's only nine years old. And um, he lives in St. Margaret's, not on the exact train line, right. but um, he, he could tell you a little bit more about of what the youth academy does. And, and right, he's so definitely a- Nathan, you all right? Yeah. A little bit nervous this morning? <laughs> A little bit nice, all right. We, we're just having a little chat. So tell me a little bit about what the academy does. For the academy, like Pastor said, go on hikes. Um, it, more teaches, it more teaches us about God than any other thing. That's so important. You enjoy going on hikes? That's very adventurous, and I really like it. <laughs> nice. What do you do on the hikes? you go to rivers and, and run through the bush? Not per se run through the bush. But we go to, like, remember the last time we went to a waterfall past them, Right. Yeah, that was one of the best ones we ever went to. Why was it the best one for you? Because mm, we went, car come, went far from home, and I like being away from home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like being at home? Not really. It's too boring. <laughs> <laughs> so you like to be outdoors and have adventure and, you know, um, experience all these things then? Yeah. Yeah, we could lime, we could lime. <laughs> I like being outdoors too. So aside from doing the hiking and, and you're being taught about scripture and about God, what else do you do in, at the academy? We always do activities, like, let's say, like games, mini games. Then some, sometimes we'll do arts and craft. Then sometimes you... We'll well, that's all I could think of when I want to pass. I think of something new. <laughs> all right, all right. You like arts and craft? Yeah. I'm you sure. like you like math and science too? Yes, I do. Yeah? yeah. And you told me he was excelling in school, so. Yes. So, you know, um, uniquely, uh, uh, Nathan, 
he is what we call a hybrid. He is also homeschooled. Right. So he has a strong support system, you know, not just from the ministry, but from his parents. And that's so important these definitely, days. Definitely, definitely. So that type of support um, is essential for us because we know that they need that type of holistic um, support, not just, you know, because something in the school curriculum is just about um, regurgitation and right. memorization. Yeah, instead of real education Precisely. sometimes. Precisely. Right. So he gets exposed to even entrepreneurship. You know, his parents are avid entrepreneurs. You know, we support their, their mission, and he's been exposed in a holistic way. That is so excellent. You know, you're a bright boy. I know yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is good. So tell me, when is the Benefit concert yes. before we close off? So it's called Love Your Neighbor. Right. Um, it's this Saturday at the Paraiso Conference Center. Um, it's a benefit concert because we're going to be building a homework center um, so that we could continue that holistic development for our young persons. Um, it's happening at 6 p.m. Um, the tickets are just $200. All proceeds goes towards the benefit concert. You can go to www.kodit.org where you can purchase tickets online or you can call 374-7441 where you can be able to, you know, get directions, to volunteer, to participate. You know, we always need teachers to be involved, to volunteer, etc. So we want to invite the entire community to be a part of this movement. All right, that sounds excellent. And thank you for coming this morning to share with us. That was Imwale Henry, pastor, author, management consultant, and young Nathan Bradford here, who is a shining star at the Youth Academy.